Our first guest tonight is an Academy Award-nominated writer and Emmy-nominated actor you know from his work in Eternals, The Big Sick, and Silicon Valley. He stars in Welcome to Chippendales, which is streaming now on Hulu, with additional episodes premiering weekly on Tuesdays. Let's take a look. Is this your place? Oh, this? Yeah. I'm the owner. Wow. Are you having a good time? It's not my kind of place. Kind of place either. Please welcome back to the show our friend Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs> welcome back. Thank you. How are I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Uh, how are you doing uh, in the prep, the run-up to Thanksgiving? It's a big week for a lot of people. It is a big week. We're actually in the air on Thanksgiving Day. Which oh, you're going to fly? I'm going to fly home, yeah. Because it was either flying Wednesday and that's supposed to be very bad, right? Yeah. Um, Could be a ghost town on Thursday, right? I hope so. Yeah, that'd be exciting. That's why I'm excited, yeah. Okay. But usually we do stuff for, you know, we'll do stuff for Thanksgiving. My parents get really into Thanksgiving. Really? Though. They do, and they're like, you know, we have to put a lot of masala on the turkey because we don't like how it tastes. <laughs> I'm like, you don't have to eat turkey. They're like, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm like, you just got here. <laughs> eat what you like. <laughs> but they love it. They get really into it. I, I, I'm not like a, oh, people are going to get upset. I, 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 I think turkey's not like great tasting. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. I, yeah, I think like the 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 cat's out of the bag on turkey. Is that, that okay? I think it's fine. I mean, if it was good, we'd do it other times of the year. <laughs> That's right. If there's anything you eat once a year, it's probably not that good. Yeah, exactly. But I remember, you know, I like tweeted years ago. I was like, well, let's face it, th turkey's not that good. And people were like, go back to your country. <laughs> it was very intense. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I won't. I'll sit on my opinions about Turkey. I'll wait a few years, <laughs> dip my toe in, so now it's good again. Yeah, it's good, it's good again. It's like everything's different in Biden's America. You're allowed to say what you want about. Finally. You can finally say what you want about, like, <laughs> poultry again. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm good with chicken, you know? I love chicken. Yeah. It just, it just, turkey tastes like chicken. Sorry, we have one enthusiastic chicken fan. Love yeah. chicken. Yeah. They, they misread the room and thought there'd be a standing ovation <laughs> yeah, for... Yeah, for chicken. Chicken! Oh, All just right. me, just okay. me. Okay. We just have a big Chick-fil-A bag. <laughs> I that... feel like turkey tastes like chicken having a bad day. Yeah. Although, you know, anything you're eating probably had a bad day. Yeah, it's like a chicken... <laughs> Very recently. It's like, you know, when you eat steak, you're like, oh, this is like if a cow was like, oh, no. Yeah. I know, it's true, turkeys never, I think it's safe to say turkeys don't celebrate Thanksgiving. No. Or ever talk about what they're thankful for on that day. No. Yeah. Except this time, did you see Biden? Uh, Pardoned a couple, yeah. Two! Yeah. Called chocolate and chip, which I think is very humiliating. Yeah. Don't name turkeys after better tasting food. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like, undeniably chocolate chips are better than turkey. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Do you think that this when... This is my Hyundai. It's called a Lamborghini is yeah. the name of it. I think, though, they... I feel like if you're turkeys, I would just argue that what you should want to be is named... Uh, have a nice pairing name with another turkey. That way, if there's a pardoning situation... Yeah. You can't be in a situation where... I'm sure if Biden was like, it's either chocolate yeah. or chip, Biden would be like, oh, we gotta, gotta go both. Yeah. That's right. Like, if there's a turkey named Abbott, I'm like... Oh. I'm gonna be Costello. I <laughs> yeah. think gonna... That way we might both get out of here. That was the only like twosome I could think of. No, I have it in Costello. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, you uh, you're a real Gen Z. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this did you? This is so this is a true story about the founder of Chippendales, Steve Banerjee. That's did true. you know anything about? I mean, I knew uh, the basics about Chippendales, which is what, which is what male dancing review, male strippers. Yes. And uh, I mean, I think that's what most people know. I don't know why it's like got weird in here. Yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what I knew about it, but turns out <laughs> there's even juicier stuff behind the scenes than men stripping, which... Yeah. 
There's murder. You just wooed for murder. Yeah. It's the same chicken person. Yeah, the chicken person's having a bad night. Chicken person's like, I'm gonna win him back. <laughs> I'm gonna cheer for something and win him back. <laughs> chicken, it's not gonna be chicken or murder. <laughs> the very anti-murder crowd. Yeah, so the real guy who started Chippendales I didn't know was this uh, Indian immigrant who was like very nerdy and awkward. And behind the scenes story of it is wild, dude. Like people got murdered, he was setting fire. So people would stole the idea of men stripping. And he was like, that's my idea. So he started like setting fire to other like male strip clubs. It's a really funny thing to sort of consider intellectual property, the idea that you invented male stripping. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, in front of an audience, if a guy takes his clothes off, that's my idea. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna burn you. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, but, but it's why he started off, you know, he started a uh, backgammon club first, because he was like, there's no... <laughs> now we're just encouraging them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, if it's the same chicken and murder person. Yeah. They have the, whoever that is has the weirdest Yelp history. In New York, looking for chicken backgamming oh. and male stripping. I thought you said Yelp as in because they were yelping, oh. actually, but you meant yeah, like. Classic, internet... I backed myself into a classic two meanings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> classic double log plot. Um, he started a backgammon club because he was like, backgammon's a great game that I love, and mm -hmm. there are no backgammon clubs in LA. So there's a whole market for it, right? And obviously it, it didn't work. He called it Destiny 2, because he was like... The name of the backgammon place? The name of the backgammon place was Destiny 2. There was no Destiny 1, but he was like, <laughs> he was like, it's a sequel, so people will think, oh, the first one was so successful. <laughs> I do open Destiny 2. <laughs> there was no Destiny 1, and obviously that didn't go well, and then he got the idea from men stripping in front of women. And then it became a huge hit. And so the name Chippendales as well, which again, the first time I heard Chippendales was The Dancers, and then I realized it was a furniture, like a famous furniture designer, but he did name it after that, yes? Yeah, Thomas Chippendale. Yeah. Thomas Chippendale was a renowned 18th century cabinet maker, and like royalty would have his cabinets in their house, and this guy, Steve Banerjee, was like, he wanted to be like classy. You know, yeah. and he was like, men stripping for women isn't inherently classy. Not that it's not, but it's not classy. So he was like, if I name it something super classy, it'll trick people. Yeah. Like, you know how people line up to go see like fancy furniture <laughs> at night? <laughs> like, ooh, <laughs> bachelorette party, let's go see some furniture, you know? <laughs> so we had a we had some good wood on the show. <laughs> That's your Yelp. That's your Yelp. I have a bunch more questions. Let's let them, let's let them, you know, simmer in that. Yeah, reset yourself. <laughs> we'll be right back with more from Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs>